I love the smell. That smell good? <laughs> Sarah, the airplane's ready to go. You ready to go? I'm ready to go. Okay, once again, my name is Rob back here, your finest chairman. November 2nd. So for takeoff, what I want you to do is just have your feet on the floor, hands in your lap. Here we go. Bring the power on in, full bore. That's full throttle on the Boeing Chairman right there. The cell comes off the ground, she's ready to fly. Here we go. Almost out of smoke oil. And off you are. Now the idea here is it's really energy management at first, it's a trainer. So it doesn't go very fast and it stalls at 55 miles an hour. So its best climb speed is about 75. So what I want you to do is go ahead and put your feet on the rudder pedals down there and grab that stick. Alright, I'm still with you here. What we're going to do is a couple of turns together. Okay. So I want you to look outside the airplane, look at our horizon. We're going to roll the wing to the left get them back to level perfect. Now, the first thing we're going to do here is a, is a uh, right hand turn. Okay. So gently ease the stick to the right. It's going to roll to the right. You get the angle of bank that you want. Stick back to neutral. Now, look at that little black ball on the panel. Okay. That's a bubble level. It tells you how much rudder pedal pressure to use. Okay. That ball is out to the right, so push forward on that right rudder pedal, and that ball will come back in the middle. There you go. Good. That's lesson number one. Let's go ahead and roll the wings back to level here. Let's try left hand turn. Good, stick back to neutral. If you look at that little black ball, you'll notice it's right in the middle. You don't have to use any left rudder pedal pressure at all. Because like I mentioned to you on the ground, the torque of the engine is doing that, that portion for you. Looks good, we'll roll the wings back to level here. Nice. Perfect. Now go ahead and lower that nose just a little tiny bit. I want you to maintain at least 75 miles an hour. That's its best climb speed there. And right over the nose is where actually we're going to be flying here. And the best thing to do to try to maintain speed is look outside on the wingtips. You see the horizon? Yeah. Look out. So what we want is we're going up too steep right now. So I want to help you here. Okay. When you're about, when the angle's about right around it there on the wingtips, okay. that's what you're looking for. Because if you stare at the instrument, you're going to be going fast. You're going to be chasing that instrument. So the idea is to look outside the plane. See, so we're going up too steep. So lower the nose, lower the nose, lower the nose. Lower the nose some more, get some more speed. There you go. All right, let's go back to the right. Now, a lot of the maneuvers that we're going to be doing today are called ground reference maneuvers. Okay. Right, so what that means is just by looking over the side of the airplane, you can see which direction you're going. This road right down here is 33. Okay. Let's take a uh, right hand turn. I want you to follow that road to the north. Okay. So we'll roll the wings back to level here, right here, back to the left. Good. Just follow this road. So we're at 1,000 feet. Now look up the left hand side of the airplane over here. You see on uh, this at the distance you can see there's a fence line or a tree line over there. Right. That's made, that's a property line. So okay. that's east to west. Everything out here is laid out at north, south, east, west lines. So just look like look over the side of the airplane, you can see which direction you're going. So let's make a shallow left hand turn and let's go to the west. Perfect. That's 20 degree angle of bank. Stick back to neutral. On the money right there. Perfect. Great job. Get going to your left, and so you're heading out here to the west. Good. We'll roll the wings back to level here. Let's try a shallow angle back turn about 20 degrees to your right. Right ailerons, little right rudder. There's a road we're crossing right over the top of. I want you to follow that. It's actually an old railroad track. Perfect. So what we're doing here is we're, you got to learn how to walk before you, or crawl before you can walk right. and walk before you can run. So we're starting off with the really easy stuff. And you're doing really well because you're looking outside the plane. Good. Let's make another left hand turn. And follow that little line out to the west. Good. This is everything I thought I would be. Is that right? Yeah. Go ahead and roll it. Place back to level here. Back to the right. 
and uh, we want to go out to the right here. Let's go back towards that smoke over there. There you go. Alright, so, right now we're at about 1,200 feet, that's plenty high for, uh, for us here today. So go ahead and lower the nose to what you think is level flight. Basically, if you look out on the wingtips, when our wings are parallel with the horizon out there, uh, that's level turn. I mean, that's level. Cool. Alright, here's what we want to do. We've done some nice 20 degree angle of bank turns heading on out here. I want you to do a 30 degree angle of bank turn. So you look out there at the horizon and you actually have to guess what 30 degrees is. So let's try one to the right. Let's go to the right first. So you look out there. Okay, that's level. That's 10 degrees there. That's 20 degrees there. 30 degrees is there. Good. Stick back to neutral. And around you go. Add that right rudder pedal. Good. Now, a lot of times people ask me, how do I know when I've done 180 degrees? Look at these little lines here. That's north and south, east and west. We've done 90 degrees there. We're going to head back towards the east. We'll roll the wings back to level. Right here. Good. Now, let's try one of those to the left. Same thing. But on this one, you don't have to use any left rudder. Good. Stick back to neutral. Good. So back to the right. And I'll bring that nose on up. You feeling good? Awesome. Okay. Now I'm going to push you a little bit more here. Okay. Sarah, I want you to look right ahead of the windscreen. You see those wires directly ahead of you? Yes. Those are what we call our roll wires. Right now, those are on a 45 degree angle to the horizon right now. Okay. I want you to make a right hand turn, put the right wire parallel to the horizon and a little bit above the horizon. And that'll be a level part in the sky. So parallel and a little above, about three inches above. Right there. Good. Hold that right there. And around you go. Go ahead and lower that nose just a little tiny bit. Now, to get your private pilot's license, this is one of the maneuvers you have to do right here. Beautiful. That's a 180, so we're looking for parallel and a little above. 270 degrees is here. 360 degrees is here. Let's go ahead and roll the wings back to level. And let's do the same thing to the left. Go back to the left. And lower the nose, lower the nose. A little parallel and a little above to the left. Good. And around you go. This will be 180. Perfect. This is a level turn in the sky. 270 is here. And 360 will be here. We'll roll the wings back to level. That's how you turn the plane. I can't teach you anything more than what you already learned. That's how, I mean, that's really, that's not how you do it. And from here on out, it's just a matter of practice. So does this thing fly like you thought it was going to fly? Is it better? Is it worse? It, it was. Oh yeah. Well, this is cool. Just go ahead and let go of the stick on me for a second. Good. Now, look at me in the mirror. Now, it flies it, itself. It flies itself. I mean, you don't have to fly it. You just have to tell it what you want it to do. But if you think about it, that's pretty cool, you know. Um, all right. Go ahead and grab it. I'm gonna, we're going to do this next maneuver. I think you're going to like it because I can kind of tell you like the steep stuff. The steep stuff don't bother, it doesn't bother you. So what we'll do on this next maneuver is we're going to do a, what we call a lazy eight. Okay. And what I want the airplane to do for you is if you listen to it, you can actually hear it slow down and okay. you can hear it speed up. So I'm going to come out of the control I'll take you through the first one, then I'll have you do a series. Okay. Uh, just, so just feel what I do. All right, we're going to level flight here. That's okay. what I want to start with. We're going to do a shallow turn to your left. Okay. 10 degrees. That's all the angle you want right there. Nothing more than that. We're going to bring the nose up. Freeze the stick right here. You're in a climbing turn. Okay. Enjoy the view. Look over your left shoulder. The airplane's doing this for you. Gravity will pull the nose through the horizon on its own. Now listen to it. You can hear it speed up. You hear that? Yeah. All you have to do is just gently roll it to the right. Bring the nose on up. And you're going the other direction. <laughs> you're up there smiling. That's awesome. So 
basically what that is, it's a 180 degree turn with a little bit of pitch involved. It's really, really simple. All right, I'm going to have you do that uh, to the left by yourself. You have the airplane. She's yours. Okay. Let's try it. I'll talk you through a shallow angle of bank. Bring the nose on up. Hold that stick right there. Don't move anything. Can you look over your left shoulder? You'll never forget looking straight down the ground like that. Beautiful. Back to the right and up. Bring the nose on up some more. There's about two G's for you. Cool. You like that? I can tell you like that. All right, now, I'm gonna, we're going to do this to the right. So get the airplane back to level. Okay. So roll the wings back to the right. Now, the only difference on this one is you have to use a little bit of right rudder pedal pressure, okay? okay. There's your shallow angle of bank. Bring the nose up. Come on back some more. Hold that stick right there. Now, right here, push on that right rudder. Push. There you go. Good. Downhill supplies. Back to the left. And bring the nose up. Good. Nice job. And then we'll roll the wings back to level, back to level flight. So look outside the plane. Got to lower the nose. All right. So, what I want you to do now, I want to push it because you're doing actually a really good job for now someone who's never flown before. I want you to do one of those to the left, okay. followed by one to the right, no stopping in between the two. Okay. So a shadow angle thing, bring it on up. Hold it there. Beautiful. That's why they call it lazy, just about vertical over the top. Back to the right and up. Roll to the right and up. Right on through. Here it's going about 115 miles an hour. Bring that nose on up. You can hear it slowing down. Down to the left and up. And that's the way you get off by yourself. Awesome. What do you think? You'll never forget that, will you? I'll never forget that. That's better than driving NASCAR. <laughs> All right, so what I want you to roll down out to the left, wings back to level. So you have to admit that it's a lot easier than you thought it was. It is. It really is. And you know, when it's you're flying... It's intimidating, but that's it. Well, you have to get over the intimidation. Well, well you're, you're flying a big old airplane. It's open cockpit. You've never flown an airplane before. Of course it's going to be intimidating. Right. But you know what? Uh, this thing's like a baby carriage. It's really taking really good care of you. Because uh, that's what it was designed to do. Uh, well, give me a 180 degree turn to your left or to your right with your choice. There you go. All right. I got uh, one more thing I want to show you. We've done left and right, up and down. We want to do fast and slow. Okay. Okay. So, I want you to do your part and just keep the wings level. Okay. Perfect. I'm going to gently bring the power back a little bit. And I want you to lower the nose, put the airplane into a shallow dive. Good. Keep those wings level as best you can. Now, tell me when you can hear the whistle of the wind and the wires. can't hear that whistle, lower the nose some more. The faster she goes, the louder it becomes. I hear the whistle. All right, now focus in on that whistle. Don't listen to the engine sound. Bring the airplane back to level flight. Now hold it right here. Good. Bring that nose up some more. Bring the nose up some more. Come on back some more. This is a stall. Come on back some more. Come on back some more. And it says, I can't go any slower, so if you won't lower my nose, I'm going to do it for you. <laughs> and now listen to it. You can hear it speeding up, right? Right. We'll bring the power back in, bring the nose back up to level flight, and away you go. So the deal is, it's really important to know what the airplane sounds like when it's going fast, what it sounds like when it's going slow, and you really want to know what to expect when it stalls. It's nothing scary. It's like, that's actually kind of fun. It is. Yeah. It's like that roller coaster. Yeah, exactly. Show. Exactly. But a lot of people are scared of it because they don't understand it, you know, and the word stall is kind of a scary word. But it's not a, a huge issue. And I'll be honest with you, that is the basics of flight, up and down, left and right, fast and slow. Um, other than just kind of going out and practicing, you know everything there is to know. It's just a matter of just doing it. So, um, for example, look at this little field right down here. Wouldn't that be nice to land on? Look at all that. It's like a golf course. It is. So we have about, uh, I don't know, eight, ten minutes to go here. We probably have to head on back, so just have some fun with this thing. Back in World War II, you would have been expected to solo this airplane in, in between 8 and 12 hours of instruction. And you had to solo from back there, right? From back there.
back here. And the reason and is, is back here, uh, you can really feel the airplane yawing to the left and to the right. So when you fly from back here, you don't have to really look at that little black ball much. Right. Your whole body, in essence, you becomes that way. You feel it exactly. Let's try one of those to the right. Good, hold it right here, around you go. Perfect. And the reason why you're doing so well, well number one, you're not afraid of the airplane. Number two, you listen to me and you're looking outside the plane right now. Great job, look how steep you are. I can feel it. Look at that G-force. Now, the steeper your angle of bank, the higher your stall speed. Right now, you're going about 95, so you're not anywhere near the stall. Um, then it probably at this point will start about 70 instead of 55. And right now you're at about 500 feet. Nice. What was your favorite maneuver we've done today? I like the lazy eight. The lazy eight. Yeah. Let's roll the wings back to level here. Let's go up a little higher. We'll do another one of those. So remember, we want to climb, but we have to climb with speed 75 or it's going to stall on you. So you got to maintain that speed. Okay. Because we want to go up a little higher before we do it. It's getting ready to stall, right? It stalls right there. Did you feel the stick shake a little bit? Right. So roll the wings back to level. Let's go back up to 1,000 feet for safety's sake. There's 700 there. Now hold that right there, 75 miles an hour. Okay. So lower the nose, lower the nose. Okay. Hold it right here. And again, so look out here, look at your, look, look at your horizon, That's a, this is about the climb angle you want. Okay. Because again, if, you look, if you're trying to climb and you're looking straight ahead, you don't really have a reference, so you don't really know how steep you're going up. Alright, on this lazy eight, let's remember that we're going to start off with a shallow angle of bank, 10 degrees. Let's go ahead, this is plenty high, we'll uh, lower the nose, get a little bit more speed. Get, get the wings back to level, let's start all over again here. Back to the right, back to the right. Okay, there we are. Now let's try it now. 10 degrees to your left and bring that nose up as steep as you're comfortable with. Up we go. I love it, you're going straight up. There you go. Now right here, back to the right. Roll it right on through. 10 degrees to your right, right on through. Come on, back on that stick, get it going on up. I don't know how much air show smoke we don't have any left. Air show smoke left. Back to the left and up. And that's about two and a half G's right there. That was awesome. You're flying it well. I'm surprised that you've never flown a plane before. I haven't. <laughs> this won't be my last. And, and you're up there just smiling away. You're doing all this fun stuff up here. All right, we're gonna do, uh, since you like these lazy eights, okay. let's, uh, let's do a little drill here. Okay. You know, we're gonna do a little uh, memor Memorex or uh, Xerox. I'm gonna do one of these to the right with you, one of the lazy eights to the right with you. And I want you, then I'm gonna get off on the bottom of the uh, lazy eight, and I want you to do the same steepness going to the left as we did to the right. Okay. All right, so just stay with me, we'll go up a little okay. higher here. So you wanna kinda Xerox it or make a copy of it. 800 feet. And then once we do this, I'm going to push you a little bit more. We're going to do a couple more stalls, because I think you like those, too. All right, so we're going to get a little side of the airplane, get a little bit of speed out of this thing. So you can hear it. There's 80, there's 85, 95, there's 100. There's a 10 degree angle of bank. So we can, we're going to be nice and gentle with it. Up we go. Look out your right shoulder. There you are going straight up. Put a right rudder here over the top. That's what it's off, lazy. The airplane is yours in three, two, one. Do the same thing to the left. Good. Perfect. Hold it right there. Nice. Back to the right and up. 100, 115. Great job. And a little right rudder here over the top. See, flying is supposed to be fun, you know, and unfortunately when you get your license, it's really uh, structured, you know, you don't really get to do stuff like this until a little uh, much later on in your training, um, but you can see it, there's nothing really to be, uh, 
Oh, wow. <laughs> Got a fun stuff, huh? That is awesome. <laughs> uh, you, uh, you got the airplane. I want you to take the controls. All right, so here's what I want you to do. I'm going to have you fly the pattern to land here today. Okay. You have the skills to do that. We're going to uh, we're going to land on our long runway. So what I want you to do is I want you to go over there. Do you see that blue screen water tower over there? Yes. I want you to go there. Okay. Now, here's where airspeed management is very, 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 very critical. Because you do not want to allow the airplane to get going too, too slow down low to the ground. If it goes too slow and it stalls, you, you, yeah, you can hit the ground hard with it. And that's not good. So I want you to maintain at least 75 miles an hour. 75 or higher is what we're looking for. Now, I had you do those shallow angle of bank turns up at altitude for a reason. And that reason is, in the pattern to land, that's what we're looking for. We do not want anything really steep. Right ahead of you is that blue screen tower. So I, don't, I guess I don't have to ask you if this if line is for you. I think that's a kind of a conclusion of. Yeah, it's, it's me all the way. <laughs> I wouldn't want to do anything else. It's intoxicating, I'll tell you. It is. addicting. I can see that now. <laughs> Let's make a 30 degree angle of bank turn to your left. And you want to lower that nose just a little tiny bit, maintain that airspeed. Now, fantasy of flight is right back behind us, right here, okay? okay. There's our runway, so I want you to go back towards Disney. Right here, perfect. I'm going to bring the power back. So right now we are in what we call uh, left downwind. And we call it left downwind because the wind's from behind us. So, so lower your nose. You adjust your rate of descent. There's, there's a helicopter, yeah. Or somebody. <laughs> You adjust your rate of descent by using uh, the throttle, but you adjust your speed by using pitch. So uh, he usually likes to screw around with us. I wonder if he's coming up here. Uh, uh, let's make another left-hand turn here. Good. Wings back to level here. All right. So now we are what we call left base. There you go. You see the runway? It goes from the Constellation to I-4. It goes right between the trees here. Okay. I want you to ultimately line up this airplane with that uh, runway there. Lower the nose a little bit more. Maintain that speed. Just go, don't turn yet. Just kind of square this off a little bit. Now I'll make our left hand turn. Lower the nose some more. Lower the nose. Maintain that speed. Lower the nose. There you go. There. Perfect. There's your runway. Now, I'm going to come on the controls here, okay? Now, stay with me. Don't just make sure the heels of your feet are on the floorboards. We're going to chop the power. Now, listen to this thing. Just like that power off stall day we did before, we're going to do another one right now. We're listening to it. It's getting slower, slower, slower. And there's the ground right there. Nice landing. That was so smooth. That so grass is really nice to land on. And we <laughs> never get on the brakes with it because we don't really care when it stops. We have 5,000 feet of runway exactly. here. That was so awesome. <laughs> I'm grinning like a jackass <laughs> eating bars. <laughs> All right, so you're not done. I'm going to have you uh, taxi this rascal back. We'll bring it right around. So put your feet back on those pedals, heels on the floorboards. Let me get the tail wheel straight here for you. Okay. All right, so a half an hour ago, we talked about how to taxi this thing. So you go, you got the zigzag. So you're going a little bit to the left, perfect. And then you uh, come back to the right. And then you look to your left. There you go, good. And just do your best here, Sarah. Try to keep it in the middle of the runway. Okay. I don't like to talk a lot right now because it takes some concentration. There you go.
So that's an intro flight like no other you'd ever have. Because, you know, when you do an intro flight or a discovery flight on a Cessna, they're just going to have you fly it around straight level and do some turns, and that's it. <laughs> you, you got the treatment. <laughs> that was so awesome. Thank you so much. Sure. Um, I'm happier in a witch in a broom factory right now. <laughs> Up there on his lawnmower, he does a pretty nice job staying away from us. I mean, it looks like you got the uh, ground handling as well, and, uh, and like you know, we're going pretty slow, which is fine because if you go fast, that's when you get out of control. All right, there's our, our new standard biplane. We'll make a right hand turn and we'll start heading over for that. these controls it's a little okay. bit tricky so just stay with me if you want okay. but uh, this is you, this airplane has a really nice tail wheel steering system on it spins it, on a dime it does and so we come in here we're going to go all the way to the right and we're just going to kind of tap on that right brake okay now to shut this thing down what you want to do is uh that little red ball on the left hand side it says m pull that all the way back for me there you go that's your uh, mixture control and that's all she wrote can't run if it doesn't have fuel. Yep, nice job. 